So this area was planted in the spring of 2015. It was cleared in uh, fall 2014. So this is a, a part of our forest that we decided to do something a bit unique with for us and to use it as a demonstration site for agroforestry. So this is a, a fairly young site and we're continuing to adjust our management to see what does well here. And part of that is to keep really good records of, of who's doing what types of management activities, what are the impacts that we're seeing to the plants that will help us adapt in the future. I think for us, one of the, the important pieces was to look at site. And we are unique because we're in the middle of a forest, which may not be true for all landowners or agroforestry practitioners. But we we really made an effort to plan out where we were going to put um, these perennial species before we you know, started to plant at all. Um, we're not digging drainage. We're not altering the landscape in any significant way as, as um, some farmers might for certain agricultural crops where it makes sense. And so we laid out the plants here based on the topography of the site. We have a lower lying wet area where we've planted cranberries um, and we've planted our nut trees at a higher site. It's really important to look at microclimate and the qualities of your site when you're planning out um, what you're going to do, especially with these crops that are, are extremely long lived um, and to make sure that you're making good decisions at the outset.